We have just entered into another console generation, with the Wii U, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 now out. This means a time of new styles and ideas being promoted. Horsepower and graphical shine will be shown off on everything. As all of this new shine kicks in, you should be noticing some things that have been happening for a while now. Here is a list of things that you will see to promote a new generation. SLIGHTLY UPGRADED GAMES! A slightly upgraded game is released for both the old system and the new one. Players point out the details that are missing on the old system and how much better looking the new one is. The reality is that there are no differences except graphical tweaks. You are playing the same game with just some special shininess. Bull shots. A bull shot can be several different things. The simple answer is that it is a shot or a video of gameplay that turns out to be fake. The game was actually being played up by PCs, not the console. The entire video was pre-rendered and never actually played. A presenter is just acting out the game on a script and never does anything real. Bull shots are supposed to show how amazing the graphics and gameplay will be, even if the game is far from finished. Super Linear Games A super linear game is when the graphics take precedence over the gameplay. You have whales crash, Romans fall, and tons of cutscenes. The graphics of the game will be amazing to watch and let someone else play. As soon as you take control though, it becomes pretty repetitive and annoying. The super linear game on opening time for a console usually gets forgotten soon after. Before you start thinking this is only modern games that get this complaint, the Super Nintendo had Final Fight. It was super linear, had really simple gameplay, and was a marvel for its time. RACING GAMES Racing games are super linear games that make sense. Of course you're on a track and you can only go in one way. You're racing! It's a super fast and fun way to show off some new technique on making something really nice. In fact, modern games have chances to just sit and enjoy the sight of a car on a track. FACES?! What started as a cool idea for Mario 64 has become a big tradition for modern gaming. A new generation must have a shot of a face, sitting in the middle of nowhere, with extra effects. The people presenting will ooh and ah at how much better this face is over the previous face from the older generation. More important than these technical features, we, we start to reach a point where you can see very subtle emotions on the face of a character. Where you can feel his emotions just looking at his face. Where you can see his soul. Sadly. The tradition of getting to make the face do weird things has not followed Mario 64. In conclusion... When a new console generation begins, we see a pattern emerge. The companies want you to really like the new system, so they pull out all of the shots. If it's a game that gets a new version every year, the new console will have a shinier one. Bull shots, or gameplay that isn't gameplay, will be made to whet your appetite. Many very beautiful games will be incredibly linear, Especially racing games. Finally, a face will be shown in the middle of space and, um, prayed to or something. I don't really get it. Either way, it's the announcement of that a new generation is made.